was popping you are it's your girl amani sharifa what's up what's popping what's getting you <laughs> shout out to the dynasty <laughs> that is so not back into your girl channel what's popping you are what's getting <laughs> so sweet what <laughs> on to this episode we're gonna be talking all about when you are like on a spiritual journey so while you got closer with the universe it's really important my loves to tune out all the outside noise and while you focus on your divine connection with your creator oh <laughs> How we are. <laughs> so I'm gonna be giving my baby girls, fellas, some really dope advice, you know, motivational words that could really help you if you are on your baby stages of like really getting more closer to the universe, my love. So let's go ahead. We're gonna hop by right doing into it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you again for tuning back into your girl channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good? Yeah. <laughs> what's poppin' babies? What's goody? What's goody? So, <laughs> mama, papa, like I said, my loves. <laughs> On to this episode, we are going to be wapping about a well, you know, like well as happened to be. And I'm only talking to my baby girls, my fellas that are on a spiritual journey to get closer with the Lord, God, the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the Divine Messiah, whatever the babies that you want to call God. <laughs> Find by me, my loves, because God got both both names. She ain't shame. But you know, you're on a spiritual journey to really get closer with the Lord of the universe. And it's really important to understand, babies. Turn out all the outside noise, you know? And focus on your divine connection with the Lord God. The most high. Ain't she? So I really want to talk to, you know, my mamas, my papas down here that is really in that kind of situation. Especially when you are on the baby stages of your like, you know, really just self development and your well spiritual journey of getting closer to the Lord of the universe, you know? Now, if you've kind of been on this path for like a while now and the, you're not like Bali and what I call the baby stages, then of course, you could definitely tune into this episode as well, my loves. But today, I'm really, really, really wanting to really talk to my sweet words that are just kind of getting on this journey, baby. I want to give you all some motivational words because I want you to stay on the shot. You know what I'm saying? So, very often, here's the thing about the when you get on the spiritual journey, right? You kind of go through this power we and I, I talked about this on my channel before we are uh, it's like people don't understand what you're doing you know what i'm saying and beyond just that my loves you're going through different things where you trying to really figure out who the fuck you are. you know what i'm saying you really trying to digest everything that you're starting to experience go through hear see feel you know, recognize that when a Lord God is really trying to show you something or tell you something. And it's a lot to take on. You know what I'm saying? It really is. And this could be, you know, situations where, you know, babies, maybe you've already had a relationship with a Lord God in the past. And you're just trying to strengthen it because you feel like that, you know, it's not as close as what it should be, my loves. Or... You could be like other situation where you never really had a real relationship with a Lord God, 
And now you really trying to establish one. Because you just feel like that a lower go the universe is really guiding you to do that, babe. Right? So it's like no matter what situation you're at, you can't go through a phase where it's like especially on the beginning. Where you are just really trying to find your in saying your comfortability and being on the spiritual journey. Because it's like you a fish out of water. You know, like when you a fish out of water, my nigga, like you are falling just all types of duff one. Because, you know, you're out of the norm of like what you're used to living your life like. You know what I'm saying? So it's like until by the grease of a lower going, you really get into a state where you feel more balanced on your spiritual journey. You can kind of feel... You know, when you're in the beginning stages of it, that you're like a fish out of water. Because you're trying to adjust to the different environment that you're in from what you were used to actually swimming on. And sure, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like comparable to like, you're trying to, you know, become or, or be more of. A spiritual being by having that divine relationship with the Lord of the universe and your higher self, and you're not trying to be attached to the superficiality of this world. You know what I'm saying? And also, it's comparable, babies, to like you being motherfucking the plug from the damn me trucks. You know what I'm saying? You getting out of the hole at the end of the day, and you're really starting to walk that path to be more higher vibrational. Not, you ain't saying to just motherfucking do it just to do it, but nah, because you really feel like deep within that a lower God is guiding you on that way, you know? Maybe, you know, you really feel like that there's been a lot of different signs he's given you, showing you different secret dance of these. You really feel it in your gut feelings. He speaks to you through your intuition. And you just feel like you are at a motherfucking point of your life, babies. But you want better for yourself. You know? You want better for yourself, my lords. And let me just be, Jin Shane, someone to tell you, in case you ain't heard from anybody around you. Let me just tell you, sweets. It's nothing wrong with that. Hmm? You know, like, we're gonna see that again. <laughs> we got, you know, we're going to put that out there again. We're going to see it again. It's nothing wrong with that, babies. It is nothing wrong with the fact that you want butter for yourself. It's nothing wrong with you looking at the double things that you've been doing in your life. And you really see it as a dude, as a girl, like, yo, shit, I want to change shit. I'm tired of moving like dust. I'm tired of moving like that. I'm tired of, you know, dealing with dust. I'm tired of dealing with that. I'm tired of being dust weak. I'm tired of being that weak. I want to do better for myself. And you should go with that, my nigga. Because I'm going to tell you. And I always, you know, throw this shit out here on my channel because this the real ass shit. Did you gotta really know the fucking hole, the me trucks, never want your ass to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? And this one's a real G shut. The hole don't ever really want you to have a real divine connection with your creator and your higher self. The hole, the me trucks, that's designed, babies, to keep you at a very low vibration. And for you to never really come into the knowledge, wisdom, and power of who the fuck you really are. And for why a lower girl got you here in the first place. And that's just on some bull ass shit. That's straight facts. <coughs> no cop of my vibe, big dogs. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So it's like while you are starting to walk that path, babies, we are... You're looking at things more higher vibrational via. You're like, nah, like, I want to do better. Dad, you have to know you're going to go through some things via. You're going to be at that course mode of like a lower girl guiding you to do different things that's going to benefit you. 
but it may be at that moment that we challenge you because you're not immune to doing these things and this is why he said that you have to get to like a, a point babies where you have to like rally tune out the outside noise and you gotta really focus on your divine connection with the lower gods. Now, in doing that, surely, do that mean that you're going to be perfect? You're never going to make a mistake. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like a perfect girl, a perfect dude, or whatever like that. You're never going to make a motherfucking mistake. Do it mean that? Just because you're tuning out all the outside noise and like you're deciding to really focus on your relationship with the lower gods, huh? Do it mean that? Because see, a lot of motherfuckers out here get it fucked up, my nigga. And they think that when you are starting this spiritual journey and path and you're really by your lower gods, Christ, deciding to change and elevate and go. You make the statement that you're like perfect and you're, you know, you'll never make a mistake and, you know, and, and that's that. When in reality, hell no. What do I always say, babies? Hmm? Pop quest. Wake the hell up. Hey, hey, Shane. <laughs> Wake the hell up. Babies, what, what do I always say on my channel? If you are concerned, you support her. If you always tune on on my channel, what do I always say? What is like one of the loyalty laws on the channel, sweets? What is one of the facts that lays on the channel? A lower God, my loves, is the only person that is poor for. Power. And he don't expect for us to be poor fuck. He don't expect that, babies. But what he do expect is for us to be very genuine. When we do talk about having a divine relationship with him and our higher selves, babies. He expects for us to be very consistent with our relationship with him and our higher selves. And he expects for us to strive for excellence in all areas of our lives, mama, papa. And as you do that, that is how as a do and as a girl, you will go elevate and change over the divine time. Why? Hmm? Why would you go elevate and change over the divine time? Because you're holding yourself accountable. You know? So you gotta understand a lower God don't expect this unrealistic expectation that you're going to be perfect. But he damn sure don't expect for you to continue to stay at the vibration that you've always been at. He don't expect for your motherfucking ass to be staying son of daughter. He expects when you are talking about having a divine relationship with him and your higher self, and your higher self represents babies, your divine spirit that lives within you, sweetheart, that's connected to a lua goa and the spiritual realm. Your higher self that's going to be guiding you by your Lord God's grace because it's connected to a lower God to continue to elevate, grow, and change. That's the version of yourself that's that better part of you. That's the part of a lower God. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand he wants you to hold yourself accountable when you talk about that you have a relationship with him because at the end of the day, if you talk, uh, <laughs> you know, like, if you talking about my girl, my dude, that you probably want better for yourself, but well, how the fuck can you want better, my nigga, you ain't doing better? You know what I'm saying? So you got to always call yourself out on your own bluff and put your books out there on the table and say, what's good? Power. You have to, when you talk about that, you do want more of a divine relationship with your creator. 
but just no babies and doing that my loves he don't expect for you to be perfect and he don't expect that you won't you know make a mistake you know you gotta remember sweets this type mansion that we love on it's about to have duality oh no it's about to have duality that's how a lua god created this type mansion for the hour that it's currently on and for the hour that it's been on for some time now now duality means that you're going to have good life experiences and you're going to have negative life experiences both sides of the spectrum babies and we talk about this with the channel all the time as well because you know like the loyalty laws on my channel sweet horse this some shit that you gotta know that it applies to life power this the shit you gotta really understand that a lua god put a stamp on her. So this shit don't change, sweets. Now for the hour that he clearly have this dimension and vibration on. When it comes to like so un- certain laws, how he's created the universe. So you have to know at this core moment of, you know, the, the dimension, which is oath that you wake up to in your waking life. For the hour that it's currently on, he has duality built program within this dimension where you won't have good life experiences, you won't have the negative life experiences. So, of course, because there is duality that a lower God has built within this dimension that you wake up to every day, which is called life on earth. Things ain't gonna be perfect, babies. Because there's that that feed of duality that he has what or not. And at the end of the day, it's duality because it's man to touch to on both sides of the spectrum. Those positive life experiences is man for you to learn the for these women for to touch to and the for these. But then also the negative life experiences, babies, is about for you to learn shit from as well. And to touch you and different kind of ways. So you're going to have both sides of duality. Because both sides will shape and mold your character over divine timing if you're learning the life lessons that a lower God is teaching you through the positive and negative like experiences, babies, that you go through in your life. You know? So when you're beginning this new journey, you have to go with that. You can't be worried about mama and papa, how other people is living their spiritual journey. And the sense of like you compelling her to yours. You can't be believing on a lot of self-limiting beliefs. Which means that like you're doubting yourself. You're allowing Satan's energy to creep within your mind. And really have you lose faith on the journey of what a Lord God is guiding you to do in that moment. And you have to be willing, my loves, to be flexible. And being flexible means that a lower God, you have to know a lower is going to guide you on different things over time though. It's going to be a process. Not just going to be everything in shame overnight. But over time, he's going to be guiding you to do more things. Letting go of certain habits. Healing certain different detriments of care with the fluids. You know? Letting go of certain people, gaining new new habits, new rituals that you need to do in your life to continue to help you to grow and elevate. There's going to be different things, different practices that he guides you to do on your spiritual journey that will help you, you know, develop more and your self essential See, you going on a spiritual journey and deciding to become more spiritual babies by having that divine connection with the Lord and your higher self is not just a trend. 
it's not a five. It's not a asasu. It's a lifestyle. I'm going to say that shit one more time. <laughs> it's a lifestyle, babies. You got to know that, mama and papa, spirituality. And this is, is this is really important to eternalize and really understand because if you really are doing this for the right reasons, you have to start to look at it like it's not a motherfucking damn, you know, accessory to what you have going on in life already. No, it's a lifestyle. And the more that you start to adapt that mentality that, you know, your spiritual relationship with the Lord God, you really working on yourself, your higher self, it's the part of your lifestyle, it's the part of who you are, baby, it's as a dude and as a God. You going to be able to strengthen your spirit more and more because a Lord God will give you that willpower to do so because he sees that you're actually loving within your truth as your lifestyle being more of a spiritual being it ain't just shut you know what i'm saying you popping and stuff like that but you want really to really put the work on see a lot of motherfuckers out here not really willing to put that work on and that's the part about it where you have to really ask yourself if you know my mom papa that you really do want better for yourself are you ready to put the work on and if you say yeah, shit, baby girls, you say, yeah, girl, like, shut. I'm ready to put the work and I already been doing that. That's why I'm on my journey. Fellas, you say, shut. Hell yeah, sus. Like a nigga been on that shit. I'm trying to get you no more deeper on that. I but. So if you know, baby, is that you're, you're willing and that you already are putting the work on, you gotta go deeper with that. And you got to really focus on your journey. You can't do too much talking. You got to just put the motherfucking action on. You got to understand, my loves, one of the issues with people once they start the spiritual journey, they're not doing enough behind the scenes. Because they're doing a lot of talking about what they're doing. Now, let me just see. A lot of people that go on a spiritual journey they are also being called to be what you know i've mentioned on my channel before babies a light worker now if you're not familiar like in shame of the episode that i did if you did not tune into the episode when i really talked about like being a light worker speaking your truth and shit like that i highly recommend mama and papa tune onto that episode because I really go into like full detail on, you know, the importance of like really standing within your power that a Lord God put within you, sweetheart, to be a live worker. So I'm going to link that episode in the description box below to learn to it. shame. But I see all that to see because a lot of times you have to know that the Most High will guide you to you know step into like that light vocal type of you know wall if that's the part of your life destiny as you're going on your spiritual journey so you have a lot of people that wasn't able to that and sometimes you know with certain light vocals depending on the mission and the assignment and i go into further detail in the episode that i was just mentioning see who has but sometimes Shane, you're talking about a lot of the different things that you're going through, you know? So that's the one. If a Lord God is guiding you to do that. But even then, it's not all about what you're sharing with other people. You have to still, when, when the mic is off, when the camera is off, when the people are not around, babies. And it's just you and a Lord God. You have to still challenge yourself to grow, elevate, and change and do the motherfucking work, babies, that a Lord is guiding you to do in your life. So that way you can keep ascending on your spiritual journey. Because, man, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle, my loves. You know? And the only way 
that your power can become more stronger on yourself for such a spiritual journey is if you put in the work. Because the more you walk at the, is the more a lower goal will strengthen your willpower to resist the temptation of different things that maybe you were willing for land to in the past. You know what I'm saying? So a valley takes you going with that. And you tuning out that noise of everybody else, regardless of you are a light worker or let's say you're not a light worker. But you, you just a person that by the grace of a Lord God, you are on that spiritual path. It's the rules still apply, babies. And Shane, fuck trying to talk to your fam about every damn thing, about every stuff that you're doing to get them to see what you're coming from. Fuck trying to make your motherfucking friends understand or you know, shit like that. For good trying to like you know appear on social media as one thing focus on the relationship because if that's not solid if that poor is not solid babies well you listen to me here because i'm really getting shame like i'm seeing this shit for a reason if that's not solid sweetheart the spiritual relationship with the lord and your higher self is not going to last Cause you're not going to be firmly rooted with the other. See, you gotta, you gotta root that shit in the ground. You gotta plant that seed, and you gotta keep watering God, giving God sunlight, so that we can grow. And that is symbolic for what you have to put the work in, Mama, Papa, with building your relationship with a Lord God in your higher self. And the more you do that, your seed will go within you. That that spirituality will be embodied within your mind, body, soul, and spirit, other the again. I'm not saying you're going to be super perfect, but you will start to notice the growth and elevation of yourself over divine timing. And you're gonna also know that you're willing to let things go more. That do positively serve you because your power is getting stronger. A law is making your mental stronger, your energetic field stronger, your emotions are being more disciplined. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you know, baby, you're ascending. And that's how you also know, baby, is that your spiritual self ascension journey that you're on. It becomes more of a spiritual foundation within you. Because you literally become more spiritually grounded in your life. So it definitely takes you tuning out that outside noise. And you really focusing on your relationship with a lower God and your higher self. So I hope this helps my love <laughs> I hope this hope this hope this helps babies understand that you know this journey is not going to be easy fishing and I'm sorry like baby girls fellas like I'm sorry if anybody told you that the does because it's not <laughs> especially on the beginning mainly in the beginning because again like i mentioned earlier babies when you are first beginning your spiritual journey my love you are the fish out of water a fish out of water that that fish is not used to being out of water that fish is used to swimming in the water you know what i'm saying so in the beginning that is metaphoric for like how you're going to be in the beginning mainly because you were used to doing things in your life or so unkind of weak you know so naturally when you start the shift shot and change it's going to be a bit uncomfortable because you're not immune to doing things that way babies some things will be easy for you to let go of and to stop doing and start doing 
But then there are other things that a lua guo will require out of you that may be a bit of a challenge. But that is why you have to build your relationship up with them. Only you, my girl. Only you, my dude, can build that relationship. Can't nobody motherfucking build that shit for you, sweets. Not your mother, not your pops, not your family, not your friends. If you're in a relationship, not the person that you're currently in a relationship with, your relationship with your creator is your relationship. You have to do that work at the end of the day. And you have to be willing to look at yourself in the mirror and, and say, in shame, what you really need to be doing or stop doing that you know a lower goal is guiding you in your life. This journey, babies, is not for the motherfucking weak niggas. I'ma keep it a beer with you, shorties. It's not for the weak. A lower goal don't make weak ass people. He makes strong lions, my girl, my dude. You already know on my channel, if you are part of the dynasty, if you subscribe to the dynasty, and you are well supported, you already know we lions and eagles in this bitch. Oh, grr, period. Lions is the king of the jungle. Eagles is the most fearless bull. You fear nothing or no one but Allah himself. Period. Whatever name you want to call God. Because a God, he has multiple names. But you have to be so firmly rooted in that shit, baby. That that's the shit you stand in one. So a part of being fearless. As you let it go of that fear. Of missing out on shit. That you really need to let go of in your life. I ain't seeing this gonna be easy, baby. I ain't gonna shoot you like that, my love. I'm not gonna tell you no shit that ain't green. I'm not going to say that everything is going to be easy. Nothing of value comes at ease. And only the strong can survive. So you gotta really ask yourself, are you really strong? Or are you weak? Do you want to become stronger? Or do you want to be weaker but then forward? mental emotional psychological energetically because if you constantly fall in short to every low desire that you feel then you are weak with the inside babies and i ain't seeing that shit on no judging shit my nigga lady you already know we don't judge on my channel sweet words only a lower god is the judge because <laughs> again ain't nobody perfect but I'm seeing that shit because that's just a box. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth at the end of the day. If you have no discipline, my loves, and your life when it comes to, like, really elevating the goal from an introspective standpoint, then you are weak with the inside. And I know that's not some shit that everybody want to hear. I know a lot of you all may not want to hear what. But I'm not seeing guts, you know, to make you feel bad. I'm telling you what, because that's the motherfucking facts of the situation. So you have to look at those facts and ask yourself, do I want to continue to be that way? Or do I really want to build myself up stronger because I'm tired of being that way? So at the end of the day, you have to know that the ball is in your court on what you're going to do in your life. Are you going to really tune out all the different things that may be going on to try to distract you from really developing what you know a lower God is putting within you, which is your relationship with them, or are you going to give on to it? Like we've already talked about, you will have duality on both sides. But you got to pick a side on the sense of what do you want to resonate more with? Do you want to resonate more with Satan's energy? Or do you want to resonate more with the Lord God's energy? And you say like, nah, girl, like, I'm trying to resonate with, you know, a Lord God energy. Baby, girls, you see that. Fellas, you say, nah, shorty, like, I'm trying to resonate with God energy. Okay, but, so you got to know if you're going to resonate with his energy. And you want to have that well true spiritual foundation, what up? 
he's going to acquire more out of you, babies. He's not going to just want you to see it that same vibration. So in order to like really since you're on this journey and it's the beginning. I'm really talking to my baby girls, fellas, that is the beginning for you, sweet. In order to like really build that relationship up, you have to really work on yourself with that. Don't worry about all the fluff on the outside. You got to go deep with that. And I'm going to keep it well with you in the gun, sweets. This is not coming from like a piece of judgment, but I got to put this shit out here. Because a lot of this shit goes on and I want you to be able to see. This is one of the reasons a lot of people will for sure. They're too focused on shit that is on the outside appellants of the world. They see everybody, you know, trying to be spiritual and they want to jump on the bandwagon, but they're not willing to really work with that. You know what I'm saying? Or they're attracted to the spiritual whole look of it all, but they're not going deeper with that. You know what I'm saying? Or they're so busy trying to show people that the spiritual, the spiritual, the spiritual, but behind the scenes. They're not going deeper with that. Now, I'm not seeing this, my loves, to judge anybody, to throw ye, she, she, or anybody. No, I'm not doing it for those reasons. But I'm bringing light to the situation so that way you can learn, don't be that fucking way. And even if you are that way, if you talk about that you really do want a genuine relationship with a new and good, bush, my dude, you gotta straighten the fuck up. And you got to recognize and call yourself out on your own bluff and really say, okay, I need to go deeper with that. Because when you are so buzzy, worried about the fluff of everything and the outside, the powers of it, you never really change inside. Mm. You never really change inside. So that spiritual foundation never really gets fully rooted without you. So it could be easily broken at any moment because you're not really truly rooted with that. It takes time building a relationship with the Lord God, especially in the beginning. Because of God, what if we see? You're that first shot of water. You know what I'm saying? So you have to get immune to this new lifestyle of being spiritual, babies. I want you to get more immune to it. You'll be back swimming again, but it's going to be in a whole different motherfucking vibration. A whole different dimension. It's going to be on a higher level because more and more you'll get the plug from the meat trucks. And you'll be more plugged down to a lower good and your higher self so you'll live more of a purposeful lifestyle. Life not going to be perfect, but you will notice a huge difference in your overall life when you start to walk a more higher vibrational lifestyle. And I know that shit ain't shame and may sound cliche, but no, that's some real G shit. I can bet on that shit, my girl, my dude. How we are? I ain't copping about nothing. You know what I'm saying? You will notice a difference in your life, in your mood, and the way that you handle things. But you can't really get to that 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 vibration if you don't put the work up. Power. You gotta know like a little girl, he knows your heart. He knows your most inner deepest thoughts. Things that you think don't nobody know that don't nobody see that don't nobody can't figure out about you guess what a lua goa does a lua goa knows everything about you so he's always going to know if what you're doing is coming from a genuine place or if you are just doing it for other stupid ass reasons don't play with a Noah Gore in that kind of way. I'm going to keep it a beer with you. If you want this spiritual relationship with him, build it by the grace of a Noah Gore. But don't play with him. 
and that kind of we and me could seem like that you really wanna but you don't really have no real intentions on both of them and the sense of like you're doing it for other reasons that is not truly how you're vibrational he knows your honest most deepest thoughts babies he knows what's in your heart at the end of the day you can't fool a lower god cause anytime you trying to fool huh Bush might do you fooling your damn self. How the fuck you gonna fool your creator and he made you at the end of the day? He made you. He knows already what your life destiny is going to be like. He knows what your whole story was written like before you even got here. Let's make that very clear. Cause like I always say, history's button 25,000 years in the bond. So your destiny that you're living out, babies, you have to know, mama, papa, that shit was what in 25,000 years ago, my loves. So don't ever try to show him and act like that he don't know it's good, because he do. You can build yourself up and you can become greater and become more than whatever you've been doing life. You don't need nobody's permission to do that other than a lower good. But make sure that in you doing that, you're putting the work on behind the scenes. And behind the scenes mean just you and a lower good. Just a lower good and you. When nobody's about, when nobody's listening, when nobody's watching, talking about like other people, in the human form, you need to make sure you're spending that time building yourself up. And remember, when you're working on yourself, you are working on your relationship with a lower God. When you are working on your divine relationship with a lower God, baby, you are working on yourself. Because the lower God lives without you and he's going to always want you to become a better version of yourself. So the spiritual relationship with him is, is you working on yourself. The, the relationship of you working on yourself is you working on your spiritual relationship with him. As I always say babies, it goes time behind. Your father, which is the Lord himself, the Lord God, the Lord the Holy Spirit, he is never going to want you to not work on yourself. That's, you know, like you're here. <laughs> you know, like you, the whole point, again, like we keep talking about duality. You got to learn shit as you go. That's the point of working on yourself. If a motherfucker not ever learning shit, ever in life the whole time that they were here then then that was a waste of life of the sons of like they did not do anything other than be of some form of a destruction because if you don't know shit the whole time you here you you can't tell me that you really asunder and remember babies assumption has nothing to do with money it has nothing to do with your finances, your status, your material possessions. We're not talking about that. Ascension has everything to do, my loves, with your spirit and your mind and your soul and your energy. That's what ascension has to do with. Don't let this motherfucking hole get you fooled and fucked up, my nigga. Thinking that ascension has to do with material things, money, status, accolades. It has nothing to do with that. Cause guess what, sweets? You can't say none of that motherfucker show with you when your physical body passes. Period. When a lower good is assessing your life after this dimension, <laughs> you can't say none of that shit with you. That's why you're never supposed to get grounded on that shit. Now more what your car she chucks. You have them bags, them dollars, you focus on your goals, dreams, aspirations. And you, you know, having nice material things. It's not the wrong with having those things. I never you ain't say tell you a lot to work toward that. But you never be grounded on that. 
you always remain grounded within a lower God and your higher self. Because that's what's about to last, babies. And ultimately, when your physical body passes and your soul is out of that body and you're judged after that, this vibration, because trust the motherfucker believe, growl, fellas, this is not the way it wow. And I see this shit all the time. That's another topic for another day. <laughs> we ain't going to got, you know, like too much into that today. But you already know, sweets. I tell you all, all the time, this is not the real world, my loves. Don't let this motherfucking matrix fool your ass. You, there's another vibration after this life. And depending on how you live your motherfucking life while you're here on earth with the tomb and a lock. We ain't gonna get too much into that today. But I gotta put that shit out there for the books, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you really top done, you know what's good. Don't let this motherfucking hole fool you thinking that this is the real world because it's not. Why the fuck would it be really the real world and there's tons of duality built with thunder? And it's testing you the whole lifetime. You gotta really ask yourself that, my loves. You gotta really ask yourself that. Stop letting motherfuckers feed you one of your kind of stupid ass males to take. You gotta really ask yourself, why the fuck would this be the real world and it's time to duality belt to teach me things? The real world would mean you already acquired certain amount of knowledge and wisdom from a different vibration. So you've been elevated to a new ascension and vibration. But when you're learning a ton of duality for lessons, that tells you this is a very low dimensional level. That you wake up to every day. But you can't get to that new world world. If you ain't master certain things in this vibration. See this is what the whole. And the matrix don't want you to really understand. Or know for well for well. Because see if you start learning. That this ain't the world world sweetheart. You're going to be thinking a little bit more. About how you live your fucking life. And you have to know, my loves, that the whole and the matrix is designed to keep you chained to Satan's motherfucker energy. Not a lower good. Power. So your test in life is to see which energy would you embody more. Would you embody more of a lower good spirit? Because you grow, you elevate, you change from learning different things that he's taught you throughout your life. From both sides of duality. Or would you embody more a sea anthology? Because you don't ever grow, elevate, and change. And you get more and more and more lower vibrational. And again, that shit ain't got nothing to do with your finances. Or status or athletes or material possessions. It has everything to do with your spouse and your mental, emotional, psychological, and energetic. It ain't got nothing to do with the surface level things, babies. So you have to know that, you know, there's this, this dimension that you wake up to is meant to touch you by the beast of the Lord. So you being on this spiritual journey is meant to touch you. It's not going to be easy. And that's, you know, that's not all no cliche shit. That's just well G shit. That's just facts about the situation. And Satan is going to walk through many different avenues and routes to try to get you to revert back. So building your spider. And really going deeper with that is crucial. Because if you're not doing that, you will not make it. Hey, <laughs> Shane, I'm going to keep it a bean with you shorties. And what I mean by you will not me, God, you won't stay on a true spiritual journey of a son. You will go back. And you may be one of those people that end up staying back. Because you never find the true strength within a lower goal in yourself 
to elevate and to be more of a higher vibrational spiritual being so at the end of the day babies that's what you want to avoid and the way that you can avoid that and like we said build your spell up is by really focusing on your relationship with the lower good i'm not saying that you can't live life and enjoy life but as being more of a spiritual person and being more grounded in a lower good and your higher self you're going to be shifting a lot of different things of how you used to handle different things in your life yourself and when it came to how you have a relationship with your creator so naturally if you're doing it from a genuine place like we've already talked about you're going to grow elevate and change which will overall change different circumstances in your life but it's not to see that you can't enjoy life anymore but you have to go deeper with that so that way you can you know really let go of those things babies that a lower go guide you to let go of that no longer positively serve you so i love you babies so much Love you, love you, love you, Baba, Papa. So, 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 so much. Please, I like this video. So that way, our channel can continue to grow. Comment below, babies. Let me know if this is your situation. If this is something that you actually are currently experiencing at this moment or that's something that you experienced in the past my loves let me know either way babies i'm watching lovey body you know nothing but success on the spiritual journey it's gonna be all right babies you know what i'm saying and it's okay baby you know just take it day by day and just understand like, what we talked about today. Remember what we talked about, sweetheart, which is that you're not going to be perfect, you know? So don't put that on with your lust of pressure or expectation on yourself when your creator don't expect that of you. But at the same time, you have to hold yourself accountable. And you can't just be lazy when it comes to like what you're doing on your spiritual journey because your creator also do not expect that of you as well, babies. So it's all about balance, you know? This I mentioned is meant to teach you different things about balancing out those styles from, you know, life's duality that you experience, you know? So I'm rooting for you. And I believe in you on some world G shut. I just know, babies, that you can be successful on this journey. But it will take you going deeper with that. It will take you focusing on different things that a lower God is guiding you to do. And it will take you really just toning out the outside noise, which is symbolic for the distractions. Of what Satan will try to do to distract you to people, places, and things from your spiritual journey. It's gonna take that. You know what I'm saying? So be that lion, like we talked about. Be that ego, like we talked about. And show a lower God that you are willing to work hard towards what you say you want to strive towards. If you say you wanna do it, I ain't do it, that. But don't bitch it. <laughs> Shane, don't bitch that shit, my nigga. Be on some wild shit and really get away your boy's butt shit, your boy's do shit when it come to your spiritual journey. And don't be worried about society and what society is doing and what society is seeing because at the end of the day, babies, remember, you can't take society with you when that physical body passes. So, babies, make sure you subscribe <laughs> become a part of the dynasty hit that notification bell so you are updated when i post my next topic check out the playlist too because i have so many topics in here <laughs> that you could really benefit from especially 
if you are on a spiritual journey on my channel we talk about so much shit hey <laughs> shane like it's you know like we chop this shit up so definitely check out the playlist because there's several things in here that can really help you babies and pretty soon i'm going to be having no stories that you can actually watch on the channel not just listen to you know to the poor cast so it's gonna be like a a lot of different things that do get introduced to the channel so definitely stay tuned and if you have not done so yet go ahead and follow your girl on instagram my instagram name is what on that screen so go ahead and follow me my love because <laughs> i would love to have you a part of a mini sharifa dynasty what's up what's motherfucking good yeah <laughs> but until next time babies <laughs> Peace, love, and light always. Mwah. Later.